Hi, Elle Ingalls here at lingles.com, pressure-free.com, creator of the pressure-free method, here with another really important tip for you. So what are you doing these days if you're feeling a little anxious or stressed? What are some of the things you're doing to try to de-stress? Are you exercising? Are you meditating, praying, doing yoga? Like, What are the things you're trying to do right now? And are they working? Maybe you're in therapy and you've been in therapy for a while, but now the anxiety is elevating. Like what's working for you and what isn't working for you? If you want to give me a comment down below about what's working, I'd love to know. Today, what I want to share with you is the one major reason why you may think that you're doing okay, but you still feel anxiety. You're trying all the things, you're going, you're exercising every day, going out and doing all that. And here's, here's the big thing. Stress doesn't really work that way. You don't have your stressful situation and then take a run and it's all all okay for you. That's not how stress works. If we have felt stress at all during our day and reacted to it, the, re the releases of these hormones are going to keep you locked in it for a really long time. So that's why this is so important for you to understand the timing of everything. If you start to feel anxious, if you start to feel anything like that, you've basically got a 10 second window before your heart rate can charge up high enough to release the fight or flight stress response. Some, you might even be doing some exercise that's moving you into too high of a heart rate and that's going to kick off this cascade of stress hormones as well. So like you may feel good from a little bit of uh, adrenaline and release of endorphins when you're running, but then you hit a wall later in your day. Um, if you're having trouble sleeping, this is really key. You need to prevent the first flood of the stress hormones because the second flood wakes you up. So if you're feeling a little nervous, say around dinner time, but then the evening's okay, you get to sleep, but then two or 3 a.m. you're wide awake. That's because these, these little hormones go out and they tell your brain to wake up. So, um, so I used to think that you have your stressful day and then you de-stress in the evening. You play with your kids, you take a bath, you go for a run. And I, I lived that for decades until 2010 when I learned the truth about the physiology of stress which is really what I teach here. I knew little bits and pieces of it for brain work, but I didn't understand the whole physiological situation when we go into fight or flight. That's what I drilled really deeply on in my research over the past 10 years. That is my expertise. So basically the only way to truly reduce the stress and anxiety in your life is to catch the things that are triggering to make you feel certain emotions that might release these hormones. That's what I help you do at Pressure Free. And when you implement my method correctly, it's just, it's unbelievable what starts to happen for people. I mean, true miracles as far as health issues and ability to perform at a better level. Um, and especially this anxiety piece, which is really harming a lot of people these days. There's just so many people are feeling it, whether it's the economic stress or the health stress, or you have an underlying condition. And again, I mentioned allergies the other day. If you know of anyone who has seasonal allergies, and now that's another thing that's causing a lot of anxiety because it's already hard to breathe. So, um, so again, we need to work with this 10 second solution that I created with the pressure free method. And you, all you really need to do is start to relax yourself and start to be aware. Just start to notice when you're starting to feel anxious. Now you can do something about it. That's what pressure free is all about. Stopping stress before it can harm you stopping the release of these nasty stress hormones before they can really affect you, affect your brain, affect your body, affect every process that's going on, but especially right now, affect your immune system. There's so much fear right now. You just have to turn on the news and you will start to feel your heart going up. That right there is the stress response in action. And now your immune system is going to drop in some cases, and some of the research I've, I've delved deeply into, up to 40%, but for one little key thing that's, res that's responsible for immune system working well, it'll drop up to 90% just because you've released these fight or flight stress hormones, because you felt a little anxious, 
or you felt a little annoyed. We're all in our homes with our families these days. Maybe you've got your kids home. Um, there's more people packed into one space and you're all trying to work at the same time and it's loud and noisy. You know, that's all could cause a lot of annoyance for you. So watch for annoyance too. The four A emotions I talk about are feeling angry, anxious, annoyed, or ashamed. Those are the ones that you need to look out for. And when you feel yourself spinning, in that anxiety direction, especially if it's like this economic anxiety, go into gratefulness, like as fast as you can to say, I've got a roof over my head. There's some food or beans and rice in the house. There's, you know, what what do we have? We're so used to having so much. So get into those things that like, I got my basics. I've got, I've got this foundation. And who are the people that you have around you or through through the screen? to be there for you when you need some help. And if you need help, please reach out to me. Just send me a private message or go to speakwithl.com. If you wanna see my full website and see testimonials, you can go to lingles.com. But I am so here for you. Thank you, I think that was Janine that gave me some love. We got Janine, Doris, Kim, Amy, Tim, so many great people here today. I'm so glad that you're here. You know, you are my friends and I, I care so much about your health and well-being and your family's health and well-being and understanding the physiological ramifications of releasing those stress hormones, that is the key to starting to take those first steps. I love to tell my clients that I'm a super patient coach. We can't be in a rush here because if you rush too hard, you build tension and tension is gonna release these stress hormones. So when you work with me, I'm not that kind of boom, boom, boom coach. I used to be pretty pressure free. Like you can ask some of my old violin students, <laughs> my old athletes I used to work with. But post pressure free, I totally understand how someone can reach their full potential now. The key is to not release stress hormones. That is the key to pressure free. So I hope this is helpful. Um, I'm really here for you. I'm here for anyone you know that's really suffering. People are having their first anxiety attacks of their life right now. They may have never had one. They're calm, cool, collected, and now this has hit them. And I just had a young woman um, pressure uh, private message me, and she's like, "I just had the first anxiety attack in my life, and I it was so scary." So, um, so I'm definitely here to help you. If you know, I help with anxiety, I help with stress, I help with anger. So anger can be another thing going on, and also, of course, all those little annoyances. So I'm wishing you a great pressure-free day. Thank you so much. Feel free to love heart, share this out. There are a lot of people um, that could use this message right now. And um, I'm just, instead of like going into a cave for a while, I've decided to come out bigger than ever before because I know people need pressure-free. My clients are telling me that. They keep messaging me, L, the whole world needs pressure-free. You gotta get out there. <laughs> so, so I'm listening. I'm listening to the clients that I've served the last 10 years tell me to um, get my button gear. And uh, so I'm gonna keep doing these lives for you. Um, if you really wanna learn this though, let's go deep together. Let's figure out what your triggers are. Sometimes it's hard. I'm still discovering mine 10 years in. So I'm here for you, pressure free all day. Have a great one, bye.